Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Rodgers. We got a whole new first look for the Hawkeye TV series being developed for Disney+. Plus. I'm going to explain how the show's release date proves when we can expect the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Then I'm going to take you through my thoughts on the teaser itself and what it means for the show involving Contessa and Yelena Belova. For the Spider-Man No Way Home connection here, we know that the series will have six episodes in total. Those episodes begin on November 24th, meaning around the fourth or fifth episode. Spider-Man No Way Home will drop in theaters a few days later on December 17th. First things first, a lot of people think that since Spider-Man No Way Home drops around this time, that not enough people will be talking about the Hawkeye show anymore because of the hype and discussion that will last for weeks following the movie's premiere. However, the reason why I don't think we should worry about this is because, well, we won't be getting Spider-Man No Way Home on December 17th like the movie is slated for. Let me explain. With all the variants of COVID and COVID itself going around, there's a rumor that Sony wants to yet again and delay the Spider-Man No Way Home movie because if vaccination rates don't go much higher, then theater seats across the United States and Canada won't be as full, meaning there's no money in that. And if there's no money in that right now, then they delay the movie until Sony and Marvel are sure they can get enough butts and seats. Essentially, if it is delayed again, then there is no point in Sony dropping the trailer because if they drop the trailers too soon, then the hype will dissipate because the movie's release and the trailer will be too far stretched out between between the two. It's exactly what happened with the Black Widow movie. Two years before the movie finally dropped, Marvel released a trailer, then delayed the movie, and Black Widow still didn't have the warm box office numbers that Marvel movies usually achieve. It's because the hype wasn't there anymore. Scarlett Johansson is actually suing Marvel, well actually Disney, for almost just that because she was supposed to get a projected 50 million off of the Black Widow movie box office and did not receive that because the box office performance was lackluster in theaters and her percentage points didn't cover as much ground because the movie was also released on Disney Plus which was not in her contract and it hurt the box office numbers thus hurting her income anyway bottom line is the hype won't be there if the trailers release too soon most of you will say that they should just release the film both in theaters and on Disney Plus which is true they can do that but Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige says that Marvel movies are made to be seen in theaters the moment they switch to both you know streaming service and theaters that can hurt the way the movie is presented to the audience meaning there's a reason why when you go to the movies it's called an experience personally I think Marvel Studios made Hawkeye premiere on November 24th on purpose because they already know that Spider-Man No Way Home will get delayed once more and they are confident that the series won't lose its spotlight as a result the only thing that makes me a little worried is that the Spider-Man No Way Home movie is supposed to take place during Christmas now if we are watching the movie in summer and it's a winter film that holiday will feel a little bit out of place so if they do delay either we will be getting an awkward holiday film in summer or they will push it to next Christmas who knows because it's certainly right now December 17th around the holidays kind of works out but who knows how much a delay will hurt it hey you made it this far you might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one so as per the teaser itself it showcases Hawkeye and Kate Bishop's basement his apprentice and in both the comics and the show being Kate Bishop. Now, as to why Hawkeye would be in her basement, I have no idea. My best guess is that his time as Ronin has caught up to him, and now he's on the run from some criminal organization that has a hit out on him, which could be Yelena Belova, since Contessa has put the hit out on him herself. Come to think of it, maybe Contessa isn't putting all her chips all in Yelena to track, find, and kill Hawkeye. In fact, she could have made Hawkeye's bounty a public hit, meaning criminals of all kinds can come and try to kill Hawkeye throughout the series and collect their money as a result. Anyway, so Hawkeye's on the run. He runs into Kate Bishop, who happens to be a super fan of Hawkeye's, clearly because of the array of archery-specific items in this shot here. She's actually wearing a prototype jumpsuit of the suit that she will wear later on in the series. Thank you all so much for watching. What do you think of this breakdown? Uh, what do you think of the Hawkeye first look and uh, Spider-Man No Way Home? Do you think it aligns with my theory of Hawkeye's release date? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.